Hello, my name is Kimmy G, and life is a journey, not a destination. Check out my 411 session. Just, and, I, and I'm sure you can attest to this, 
when you do put energy out in the universe, it will come back. Yeah. So the seeds that you sow, you will reap. Yeah. And I remember from a reporting standpoint, I said, I'm going to work with that person. And within eight months, I worked with them. But it was the energy I put out, the good energy. Um, and I think that because in my research, when I was re researching your, your, just your life and your journey, I think because, number one, you were determined. Yes. And you, you were persistent in your goals. Um, I think that's why you got the opportunity to dance for someone like a Beyonce. And yeah, I started, well, the year that I did make the Sixers, I, I was so determined to work on my confidence. Right. So I auditioned for the Borgata Casino in Atlantic City. And go-go dancing is just you get on a platform and you just dance. Right. And you get the party started and you keep the party going and then you take a break and then you do it again and then you take a break. Um, and you can wear whatever you want. You can wear boas, you can wear animal print, you can be all red. If you, if you just have the, the platform to express yourself. So um, I did that in between and it gave me so much confidence. I just love that everybody watched me. I love that I could hear all the latest songs and work on my dance moves and steal dance moves and make them better. And, you know, I just loved it. It gave me so much more confidence and self-awareness. Um, and then I auditioned for the Sixers the following June and the director said, Kimmy, the only thing that changed was your confidence. It was your air, it was your energy. You did not doubt yourself when you came in. And that spoke volumes to me because I felt different. I went with a different intention. That, that was my job and I was gonna go get it. Right. So then I go load in Atlantic, <laughs> Atlantic City and I did the Sixers. Um, and then in 2007, this was 2005, mm -hmm. 2007, I auditioned for Beyonce and didn't make it. I flew down here to Atlanta. Mm -hmm. No, I got the Dance 101. Okay. Uh, in, two, in, 20, in 2007. Okay. I caught the bus, I drove down here in between games, um, auditioned, did the callback. Then I went to New York, did the same thing, um, didn't make it. And it was like, okay, there's a reason why I'm still on the Sixers for the rest of this year. And instead of being defeated, I'm used to not getting it the first time. I had to see what I had to do. You know, how am I supposed to prepare? Now this is my job, I'm gonna go get it. The, she doesn't want an NBA cheerleader standing next to her. What kind of woman am I gonna be on stage? Who am I in love? What kind of woman, who, who, who is this Kimmy? Because this Kimmy is not right now. So um, I wasn't defeated. Mind you, at the same time, I made all of the Sixers dancers go audition. I said, you guys, dance is bigger than this That's tour. You guys need to go audition. I know it's cold, just go. No, we're not gonna make it, so whatever. So the end of the Sixer year, uh, they had, it was an all-star game mm -hmm. in Vegas. And there's no dance team in Vegas, so they had this big uh, competition for people to vote for the all-star dancers. Right. So I, I won and I, um, went to Vegas and represented Philly. I mean, there wasn't even a basketball player that went. I was the only wow. Philadelphia Sixer that went and I was on the dance team. So that happened right after not making Beyonce. Beyonce. Mm -hmm. So it really put things into perspective. I was like, I'm done. I'm quitting. <laughs> I'm, quitting uh, I'm quitting the Sixers. I'm going to Atlanta. I'm going okay, to get this job. Bags, baby. January 1st, I was here taking classes in heels and figuring out my hair. Right. And the end of 2000, November 2008, I auditioned for Beyonce in Atlanta on video. They called me, they loved my picture, and that they were coming for the callback. February of 2009, went to New York. We all battled it out. The best from New York, the best from LA, and four girls from Atlanta. Wow. We danced all day, eight hours, in front of everybody, in front of Miss Tina, in front of Beyonce, Frank, Harry <laughs> Muger, everybody and their mama. And I was very intimate, had a squawk, walk backwards, had a dance, had a street stop for eight hours. And then they called me the next day and said, hey, we'll give you a shot. You heard the sights at my that's dance. Beautiful. And that's how it is, pack your bags, girl. That's how it is. Um, it's, yeah. it's amazing because um, I know Frank from, we toured uh, with Invoke. <laughs> Really? Yes, yeah. we opened up for Involve back in the day. <laughs> so, he, yes, I know Frank from back in the day. So, that's, I know exactly. <laughs> 
what you went through. <laughs> so but that's wonderful. I mean, that's that's beautiful to me. That's just a true testament of determination. You want to be somewhere. And I know as a dancer, this has being on this platform with Beyonce has opened doors for you. Mm, absolutely. And and I think it's beautiful because um, you use it in a positive way. Mm -hmm. And that is true, you guys. Like when you do. Um, begin to dance for people, like you were saying, they watch your tweets, your Instagram, all that. You're representing, representing the person that you work for, you know what I mean? As you're an extension of them. And so that is so true. And um, I just want to commend you for what you're doing. And I, I love the look. It works. Everything is beautiful. <laughs> and um, before I open the floor, I want to ask you a question. I have a few more questions, but then I'm going to open the floor. But I wanted to, um, ask you, what do you do to prepare for any show, period? Uh, well, now you got a tour coming up mm -hmm. um, on the run. So are you running before you go to run? Like, are we doing eight miles a day? What are we doing? <laughs> <laughs> I 